Welcome back. You're live with Espresso. Time to update your timelines. Why? Because the Mzanzi Super League is here this Friday. It's all systems go for the second edition of the Mzanzi Super League when the defending champions, the Josie Stars, will take on the Cape Town Blitz at the Wanderers Stadium. MSL, one of the biggest T20 cricket tournaments in the country, certainly, um, and now on the globe with a host of local and international marquee players being represented in every team. Protea legend and current Cape Town Blitz assistant coach, Mr. Paul Adams now joins us to chat about some of their upcoming fixtures and the season ahead. Paulie, always good to see you, Good man. morning, yeah. Um, uh, first of all, how are you doing? Uh, busy, busy year, man. Yeah, summer's year, cricket's year. So, um, yeah, I've been travelling up and down a bit with, with a few games with the Western Province side, but uh, MSL has rolled into town and... Got to put on the Cape Town <laughs> Blitz gear. Um, and, and reconnect with a lot of mates as well, which is great. When we look at just the coaching setup at the Blitz, you guys are set. This is the perfect balance. A lot of proteas represented in there. What is the goal for the Blitz this year? Surely dominance. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's always you get a bunch of players and they come in uh, for a short space of time. So it's important to get a, a good environment. Environment. So with Ashwell Prince as head coach, Fike Davids, myself, and we got the Rick, we 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 just got Ashley Mamala on board as well later on in the season. So um, it's going to be an exciting time, especially for young players within our group. Um, you can just tap into different mindsets um, with the overseas players and, and get a, just a, a different feel of the game of cricket. We all don't know the right or wrong answers, <laughs> but we can explore different ways of playing the game. Uh, for, for ages, you always seem to be the youngest player in the team. How important is it for, for young players to get that field time, to get that crease time with the legend, someone like a, like a Hush? Even when you look at those that have become seniors now, the, the Quinton de Cox of the world, who they themselves would have relied on a Hush um, to get that experience. How important is that? Yeah, I think it's it's in a developmental stage of, of young cricketers wanting to be professional. It's it's that step up. It's it's also wanting them to, to be comfortable in their own skin, yeah. um, in them and being themselves. Because sometimes you get in that environment, you think you need to be a completely different person. No, we don't want that. We oh, want boy, you geez, to express man. yourself <laughs> and and play how you want to be playing and uh, and just be the best you can be especially in the most unforgiving environment that is T20. Yeah. How do you go about setting a game plan? You've got to take it, obviously, match by match, but how do you work it out when, when the fortunes of a game can turn with literally one ball? How do you approach the mindset? Um, approaching the season is, is actually the planning takes months. It starts months before the draft, planning how you actually want to play the game and then get the player that can fit within that game plan. So I feel we, we've got a good, exciting brand of players within the group. Um, options and uh, left-arm spinners, off-spinners, leg spinners, and quite a few quicks uh, within the group. So um, it's a pretty it's, legendary quicks yeah. at that, right? <laughs> um, how important is the slow ball as a, as a, as a slow ball um, aficionado? How important is it to have that balance of spin in the shorter format of the game? Yeah, I think in, you just want options. As yeah. a captain, we got a Quinton the Cock, who's the new captain well, for our side. He's quite a quite an open-minded captain. Um, he explores and he's not too rigid in the way he's thinking. So he looks at conditions, how things are panning out and he, he goes with his gut feel. And, and often that is a great uh, attribute for captaincy um, to have within T20 cricket. Um, sometimes you can't be too structured. Uh, yeah. It's a game that goes with ebbs and flows all the time. Got it, yeah, horses makes it horses. exciting. Yeah, yeah. No, um, absolutely. So balance in the squad you have mentioned. Yeah. Moeen Ali, I understand, is coming in uh, briefly, yeah. which is fantastic. I think in the shorter format, he's proven, well, in all formats, he's proven <laughs> his, his worth. Take us through some of the marquee players. Who are you most excited about seeing in this team? Yeah, um, Liam Livingston is not too well known within South Africa, but uh, he's hit the, the in England. He's been on fire there for for Lancashire in the in the in the last T20 tournament. Um, I think he, he could entertain quite a few crowds. Um, so you got to be close to your seats there and watch it. Um, <laughs> Keep and an eye in the sky. <laughs> and a guy like um, um, Wahab Riaz, who's yeah. who's been playing all around the world, and I think it's so important for our younger players along with the Dale Stain in our team, to be tapping into that knowledge. Um, how he goes about his game, uh, what, he, what he thinks when he bowls at the death, all of those things. And uh, it's, that's why we, we kind of went towards quite a bit of experience in, in terms of marquees. And you fill in those, those areas to, to 
Uh, we saw with the likes of like the Nokia's of this world how young players use that opportunity to literally get themselves into the international yeah. setup. First game up against the Josie Stars. In fact, you've got a busy weekend. Yeah. You know, Paul is one of the most difficult stadiums to play in because it will be sold out. Um, what's the goal for this first weekend? What are you What are you expecting from Josie Stars? First off. Yeah, I think it's so important to have a good start. That's why we we prepped yesterday. We had a home up game. Uh, just started getting through, guys. But today is a bit of rain around, <laughs> so um, I think we want to hit the ball rolling right from the beginning. Um, big encounter against Josie Stars. Good surface. I think it ball flies in the IFL. So <laughs> <laughs> I think we're up for anything up there. So, but this year the MSL teams are are going to be really tough to play up against. Solid, I think you yeah. can't really judge who's best team on on paper and all of those things. Um, all well balanced squads. Um, so it's, we're up for another. I think a, a good good season of of MSL, and uh, I'm really excited. And, and I hope everyone is, else is as well. Yeah, man, you've got to get down to the stage. Look forward to seeing you in the dugout. Um, all the best of luck um, yeah. to you and the rest of the team. I, I saw a fire in Dale's eyes when we had him in last week. Um, make no mistake that it is, yes, friendly and a big jaw out there, but these guys take it very, very seriously and you're likely to see some of the most explosive cricket that we have seen all year. Um, but go out, start showing your loyalty. Which team are you supporting? You can let us know on all of our social media platforms.